you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 27th sunday the feast of the holy family of jesus mary and joseph let's begin this day with the blessings of his holy family A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St Luke chapter 2 verses 22 to 40 When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord as it is written in the law of the Lord every firstborn male shall be designated as the holy to the Lord and they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons now there was a man in jerusalem whose name was simeon this man was righteous and devout looking forward to the consolation of israel and the holy spirit rested on him it had been revealed to him by the holy spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the lord's messiah guided by the spirit Simeon came into the temple and when the parents brought the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law Simeon took him in his arms and praised God saying Master now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples a light for revelation to the gentiles and for glory to your people israel and the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said to him then simeon blessed them and said to his mother mary this child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in israel and to be a sign that will be opposed so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed and his word will pierce your own soul too there was also a prophet anna the daughter of phanuel of the tribe of asher she was of a great age having lived with her husband 7 years after her marriage then as a widow to the age of 84 she never left the temple but worshiped there with fasting and prayer night and day at that moment she came and began to praise god and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem when they had finished everything recorded by the law of the lord they returned to galilee to their own town of nazareth the child grew and became strong filled with wisdom and the favor of god was upon him the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ happy feast day my dear friends Holy family in its moments of crisis is most powerfully a model of for our own families today the first sunday after christmas we are invited to turn our attention to the holy family of jesus mary and joseph to a great extent the meaning of christmas is largely dominated by the understanding of an occasion for families to gather from far and wide to spend time together it is a great blessing for people to each see each other again but whether people come together to celebrate the birth of our lord or simply to together to see each other or exchange gifts christmas can be mixed time for many many families get together it can be as much an occasion of joy and sometimes sadness as well sometimes old conflicts and tensions may rimrich and arguments flare up as the christmas wine starts working and for others there is a pain of loneliness arising from family breakup the isolation brought about the mental or physical sickness or distance from loved ones which makes christmas something to be endured for good or bad these are all part of our life's journey from the gospel this sunday we see that very soon after the birth of savior in the manger in bethlehem the holy family's life is 
in a crisis. Peace and stillness of holy night is brought to an abrupt end with the news that Herod the king is in search of Jesus and plans to kill him. Hence, as per the instruction of an angel, Joseph is constrained to take Mary and Jesus by night to safety place in Egypt. They become refugees in the strange land. Yes, the journey of the family life is always a journey into the unknown. Press parents always hope, have hopes and dreams for the future of their children. And children in turn have their own hopes and dreams. Yet as day to day life passes, reality may well take a very different courses. Life is a great mystery and it sometimes throws all kinds of difficult things away. At times, some of these difficulties can disrupt and break down the relationship and the threatens the bonds of love which keep us together. So, my dear friends, if you really listen to the message brought by the birth of Jesus, what we need in all such different moments in patience, mercy and forgiveness and think of a common good. If we have expectation of a perfect family or a perfect social circle, then we are surely going to be hurt and disappointed at some point because they have they don't exist if we are merciful and forgiving those very moments of a difficult and sin then we can transform everything by the grace of god to renew and strengthen the bonds of love and unity that is lost by certain moments of impatience and lack of understanding perhaps that sounds rather too simplistic or realistic until perhaps we realize that Striving to live in family life in the light of gospel message takes faith, courage, and trust in what God has done for us through that child in the manger. Amen. Happy Peace Day.